This is the Chloe, just looks so good. I got this wig without the actual clips inside. Okay, so as you can see, this is what the wig looks like. We have the full lace here, going all the way around there. And also at the back, so um, we are gonna be taking this lace off. Now that all the lace is cut off, um, as you can see, no more lace, and then we're gonna try and dye it. I've washed out the purple shampoo, gave it a nice little rinse, and now I'm going to condition it. Um, however, when you use conditioner, do not apply it on the actual scalp of this wig. Only just do it from like here, like from the ends to the middle. Do not touch this area. It's all pretty good. So I'm going to let this dry and I will see you tomorrow. This is the first ever human hair wig I've ever gotten and you can just see the quality difference between a human hair wig, especially this one from Uniworks, compared to a synthetic wig. So obviously this one looks more natural, you can customise it to yourself, you can curl it, straighten it, cut it, bleach it, whatever you want to do, you can do it because it is human hair. So it's like your own hair basically, whilst synthetic it's just like kind of one size fits all. But Anyway, this is once again the Chloe uh, 613 human hair wig. I went out yesterday um, with my friends. I had the wig on. No one could tell it was fake. Like people were literally there being like, is that your real hair? And I was like, no, it's wig. And they were like, no, it's not. And I was like, snatched it off. And they were like, bloody hell, it is a wig. So in regards to that, I'm absolutely over the moon. I'm gonna be wearing this wig so much because my hair is damaged. And yeah, so I'm just gonna do a little spin so you can see it from the back, what it looks like. Um, I'm so happy with this. I feel like Lego last from Lord of the Rings and I'm absolutely all about that vibe, like 10 out of 10. Bye-bye, enjoy.